a blow to Scotland's independence hopes, the UK's Supreme Court has ruled against the Scottish Regional Parliament organising an independence referendum in Scotland. The Scottish Government, which is led by the pro-independence Scottish National Party SNP, had asked the Supreme Court whether the Regional Parliament had the power to pass an independence referendum bill without support from Westminster. According to the November 23 ruling, such a bill is outside the legislative competence of the Scottish Parliament. Scotland held an independence referendum in 2014 in which 55% voted to remain in the UK. The referendum was possible because of an agreement between the Scottish regional government and the UK's government. Since then, Scotland's pro-independence movement has requested a second referendum arguing that Britain's exit from the European Union has changed the social, economic and political conditions in the UK, which justifies another independence vote. But the United Kingdom's ruling Conservative Party opposes another referendum, arguing that 2014 vote was supposed to settle the issue for a generation. The SNP will now need to reconsider its options such as unilateral action. After days of speculation, Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif announced Lieutenant General Arsene Munir to succeed outgoing Army Chief General Kamal Bajwa. The selection, which caps weeks of speculation, was confirmed after President Arif Alvi signed a summary sent by the Premier. There was a bitter struggle over the post of the Army leadership that saw outgoing Army Chief General Bajwa face off against a faction led by former Director General of the Inter-Service Intelligence ISI, Lieutenant General Faiz Hamid, alongside former Prime Minister Imran Khan. Lieutenant General Faiz Hamid was instrumental in the rise of Imran Khan who not only wanted Lieutenant General to continue as head of the Pakistan spy agency, but wanted him to become the army chief. It was Imran Khan in October 2018 who ended Lieutenant General Asim Munir's stint as the top intelligence officer as he had him replaced by Lieutenant General Faiz Hamid. But General Bajo shifted Lieutenant General Faiz Hamid to Peshawar, which practically ended the Lieutenant General rise to the top position. It was here General Bajwa reached out to the Sharif family in the UK. This eventually culminated in the vote of no confidence that ousted Khan. General Bajwa has now settled this internal conflict in his favour by ensuring General Munir succeeds him. General Munir has been a close aide of General Bajwa ever since he commanded troops in the Force Command Northern Areas as a brigadier under the outgoing Army Chief. In the opening remarks at the annual Collective Security Treaty Organisation, CSTO summit, Armenian Prime Minister questioned the effectiveness of the alliance and highlighted the organization's failure to deter or effectively respond to Azerbaijani aggression against Armenia. CSTO summit in Yerevan was met with anti-Russian protests calling for Armenia to leave the organization over Russia's failure to provide greater military support for Armenia. The Prime Minister's remarks will deepen Armenia's negative perceptions of the organization and Russia, especially after Russian President Vladimir Putin brushed aside the notion that the CTSO could do more for Armenia and instead stressed the need for the country to make further progress towards a peace agreement with Azerbaijan. These remarks come at the worst possible time for Putin, who needs all the allies he can find with the Ukraine war looking like it will grind on.